Step one is to safely jack up the rear of the car and then put the rear on jack stands. Once that's done, remove the wheels with a 17 millimeter deep impact socket. The next step is to orient yourself in the wheel well. Locate the rear trailing arm and undo the brake lines that are attached to it. Uh, some people have a 10 millimeter bracket and some people just simply have clips. The green arrows in this photo are the brake lines that is attached to the rear trailing arm. The yellow lines are the three 18 millimeter bolts that you'll use to drop the rear trailing arm bushing bracket. The next step is to mark around the rear trailing arm bushing bracket uh, and then ultimately remove the bolts. You will need an alignment after this, but the closer that you get the bracket back, uh, the less obviously out of alignment your car will be. Also, when you remove the three 18 millimeter bolts, be sure to support the trailing arm as it comes down. The fourth step is to gain more space. As you've noticed, the trailing arm doesn't drop below the side skirts of the car. So you either need to gain more space by trying to wedge a block of wood in there to get more room, or I chose to remove the 18 millimeter strut bolt, which dropped the real trailing arm low enough to be able to work on it. This is the wood block method taken from an E46 Fanatics discussion board. Again, I did not do the wood block method. I chose to remove the 18 millimeter bolt at the bottom of the strut tower, uh, which ultimately dropped the rear trailing arm low enough to work on. To remove the RTAB bracket and through bolt, you'll need two 18 millimeter sockets um, and go ahead and flex those muscles because it's on pretty tight. This is a top down visualization of the two bolts that you're trying to remove. The next step is to remove the old RTAB. Uh, this is where the specific tool comes into play. Um, the old RTAB will pull away from the car, uh, so this is how you want to set it up. The receiving U will go toward the outside of the car. Um, the entire bolt on the tool will go through the old RTAB, and then ultimately you'll put the pulling block on the back. Uh, when you do place the pulling block, it should be lined up into the grooves that already exist on the old bushing, which I'll show in the next photo. You can see kind of the gap where the grooves are, and you want to put the pulling block right there where the red block is denoted. This also takes a little bit of power, um, and you may need some type of brake free or something, or anti-seize if it uh, seems to be rusted on. To install the new bushing, you're going to set up the tool the exact opposite of the way that it was set up to pull the old bushing off the car. As you can see here, um, this is pretty much the opposite setup for the tool. Um, ultimately what we're doing is pulling the new bushing into the rear trailing arm housing. Again the goal is to put the pulling block into those uh, the grooves of the new bushing. Um, lube up the bushing really good with silicone grease and then break out those muscles to pull the new RTAB into the trailing arm housing. The new bushing is seated correctly when you can only see rubber on either side as you can see here. None of the metal of the bushing is exposed. Uh, the next step is to put it all back together. Now, if you have a floor jack it will absolutely come in handy here. Uh, use the floor jack to lift the wheel hub assembly and reattach the strut if you disconnected it. Um, also, after you get the RTAB bracket back on and limiters if you're putting those on, uh, tighten it up to 81 foot-pounds and then you can use the floor jack to lift up the rear trailing arm so that you can get the bracket as closely as possible to the marks that you've made. This is the reattachment of the uh, rear strut assembly. Again, it's an 18 millimeter bolt, 74 foot-pounds, uh, though it should be noted that the 74 foot-pounds is when the car is loaded down. So tighten it to 74 foot-pounds, drop the car with the weight on it, and ensure that it's still 74 foot-pounds um, before driving anywhere. The next step is to reinstall the bushing arm bracket. Uh, again, that's 81 foot-pounds for those two 18 millimeter bolts. Once the bracket is installed, you're going to lift up the rear trailing arm with either muscles or the floor jack 
uh, to install the three 18 millimeter bolts, 57 foot pounds each, to the body of the car. Once the bracket is back in place, be sure to reattach your brake lines with either clips or the 10 millimeter bracket. The next step is to do the other side. If it makes you feel better, um, it took me about an hour and a half to do the driver side and less than 45 minutes to do the passenger side, so hopefully um, it's much quicker for you also.